Hey kids, hey kids, how are you? This is uh, Grandpa, my channel Grandpa Reads. Today we're going to be reading a poem by John Dunn, D-O-N-N-E. -N -N -E. um, he lived 17, I'm sorry, 1572 to 1631, born in London, England, and despite his religious calling, he was a dean of St. Paul's Cathedral in London. He was also uh, well remembered now for his poetry. And this particular poem is of particular importance to me. So I'm going to read this, and then I have a little channel update I'd like to discuss with people. So if you would, uh, bear with me, and we'll go from here. John Donne, No man is an island. No man is an island. Entire of itself, every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. If a clod be washed away by the sea, Europe is the less, as well as if it promontory were, as well as if a manner of thy friends or thine own were. Any man's death diminishes me, because I am involved in mankind, and therefore never send to know for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. Short and sweet, no man is an island. Important poem. Um, I guess that's why it's still with us today, considering this guy died 1631, so uh, 400 years ago. And therefore never send to know for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. And of course they're talking about the days of old when they actually had a bell ringer in the cemetery and. Uh, because they found that when excavating graves, they found some of them had scratches on the inside of the coffins. And so they started putting a bell and running a string down into the, into the coffin. So if somebody wasn't actually dead and they awoke and found themselves buried, they could pull on the string and ring the bell and then they would be exhumed and, and saved. Um, scary thought. Actually, it's one of my, one of my worst horrors would be to find myself buried in a casket. I, I just blows my mind. Um, but no man is an island, and uh, entire of itself, every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. And this is true of all of us. We're all part of humanity. We're all part of this group, good, bad, or otherwise. Um, they're very good and very bad in all of us. Some of us are very good, and some of us are very bad. Um, but none of us are an island unto ourselves. I myself am a bit of a recluse in my later years. I do like to keep myself private, uh, surprisingly doing YouTube videos and doing these readings, but still nonetheless, I like to keep myself private. I live alone, not by choice, but by circumstance. Um, and so this poem seemed to touch a vein with me and to remind me that I am not an island unto myself and that I am part of a larger community and so therefore I should endeavor to participate with that community. I've always been a person of service. I volunteered as a 4-H leader. I served uh, the judicial system uh, as a CASA guardian at Lightham helping use at need. Volunteered to fire, fire, as a fireman for, for over a decade. Uh, I've always tried to help out my community in any way that I could. Now in my older years, I find myself not so apt to go out and do that stuff anymore, but still, nonetheless, I, uh, I do find it interesting that I should be reminded that I am not an island unto myself. So, With that said, I hope you will like and share and subscribe to my channel. Please do share it with your friends. I'm going to try to build this channel up. Uh, frankly, I'm 62 years old, and I am hoping to build this channel and some others that I'm doing uh, to be uh, my retirement, my income for later life. Um, so please do help me along those lines if you would. Now, that said, uh, I have some channel updates to do. I'll put links in the description down below. I have a second channel where I also do readings. I do Bible readings. I read from the Bible. And I'm going to put a link uh, on that channel to this one. 
and from that one to this one, and, and that is Old Goat ASMR uh, Bible Readings, Old Goat ASMR. Now, I'm probably going to change that name. The link will still work, um, because Old Goat ASMR, I, I'm actually thinking about developing a specific ASMR channel away from my Grandpa Reads channel and away from my Bible Reading channel. Um, as I get older and in worse condition physically and less able to do things, I find being able to sit here at my desk and read poetry or read from the Bible and create a YouTube channel is something that I very definitely can do. As long as I can breathe and as long as I can talk um, and afford the electric bill and internet bill, uh, I'll continue doing this. So. Uh, please check in those descriptions, check out my other channels if you would, subscribe to those, and we'll go from there, because no man is an island, and we need to all work together as a, as a group. Now, if you would like me to read a particular passage or a particular poem, please uh, mention that in the comments as well, and uh, I'd be happy to take requests and read whatever you like. So, John Dunn, No Man Is An Island. Hope you enjoyed that. Be good, be careful, take good care of one another, and we'll have more for you in the near future. Thanks, kids.